I'm Dave Rigger, voice of the Griffins, and I'm here with Jerry Partridge, head football coach at Missouri Western. And any backbone of any college program is recruiting, and National Recruiting Day just happened. And now, are you glad to have this over with, first of all? Oh, for sure. I get so <laughs> tired of it. But uh, it's, a, um, it's a long process, and when you get kind of close it out, and, and, and really the end game is the hardest part, figuring out who you really, really, really want, the amount of money you're going to offer them in scholarship, and, and then obviously who's involved with them, and just they're feeling fed, and, and it could any day could be different. So we're really fortunate to get the kids we have, and uh, it's amazing to me how many times the $500 guy ends up better than the $5,000 guy. Now, obviously, the prices are higher now. I should say the thousand dollar guy is better than a twelve thousand dollar guy, but uh, you never know. And, and we feel like we got a good grip on some kids and uh, did a good job locally, uh, filled some needs in a specialist area. Uh, but there's some really good, uh, well rounded kids that have all in my double A potential in it. You know, we've talked before, and you never know how a class is going to turn out. Did this one turn out a lot different, or was it kind of what you thought it was going to be going into to recruiting? Honestly, I never know. I mean, I, I never just say, I mean, you've heard me say that when people ask what you need, I say, I don't, they just need good players. And I'll put a ceiling on each group of how many we'll take at each one, but, and there's a general overall ceiling of how many players totally we can take. We need, we definitely need to get a punter and kicker out of this group, and we did. We got two of each. Uh, but, you know, I, it's, there's a really good tight end, Trevor Belmont from Omaha, that has big hands, big frame, catches it really well, that we feel really strongly about what kind of player he's going to be. And he's one of those, we had about five tight ends we really, really liked. Uh, four of them went Division One. Uh, the other one really chose a, a poor choice in school, and the other one we got. And, and honestly, Trevor ranked uh, maybe the highest to all of them. We really evaluated him. He was probably the best kid. And that's no, that's no coach speak or recruit speak. He was really the most athletic of all that group. Um, you know, we had some good DBs in the group. Um, you know, Dominic Jamerson's killing up on offense, but he could be a defensive player pretty easily. His dad even thinks he's a corner. Uh, Robert Richmond from Willard, Missouri, was a kid that we brought in in early January, committed early, canceled all his visits, and pawned all that long. He's a kid that played running back and safety at Willard. And, uh, we're going to play him at safety. He's a great tackler, runs the alley really well, is really, really physical. Hey Dinger's the center out of Ray Peck that we targeted really early. Uh, came to our camp. I liked him and just recruited him throughout. And, uh, you know, there were some schools, there were some schools that really put a hard rush on him, but uh, he was, he's just one of those kids you just had that great feeling that he's going to be a cornerstone kind of kid that is going to be at least a three year starter and um, maybe be, gonna be a captain kind of kid. Defensive line was pretty heavy in this class, and that was an issue last year with not a lot of depth at that spot. So was that an, was that an area of need this year? You know, I, I would say yes and no. Um, we, we don't feel like we need to go get a transfer there because we're really senior late. But that's the scary part is those kids are a bunch of, there's a bunch of seniors in there with OB and Arbanis and Brody and Giannis. And uh, we did get some inside kids that we think can play eventually. Uh, you know, one of the kids that we got that I didn't really talk about at the press conference is Joe Betcher out of, out of Columbia Rockbridge. He's really, really good on film. And uh, there are some bigger kids in there that I think West Bell could do a great job of developing. And obviously you do regional recruiting, but a lot of local recruiting this time. You have some St. Joe kids, Maysville, uh, Plattsburgh, it goes, the list goes on and on, but a lot of local kids this year. Well, I, again, I, I think that's, you know, it's, it's kind of been our mission as a university all along as it's a regional university. I think we have a, a certain obligation to do it, but I'm not just going to take them. I mean, they got to be able to play too. And, and like I, I said at the press conference again, I think the world, a lot of these high school coaches and, 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 and become friends with a lot of them. And, and when they say kick and play, I'm going to listen to them and I'm going I'm to give them an opportunity to be good players. And uh, the encouraging thing is a lot of those guys want them to play for us, and that's what's fun. And as we talk about, you never know about a recruiting class until two, three years down the road, but I'm guessing you probably feel pretty good about this one, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think there's some really quality young men in it that can, can really play, and, um, you know, it's um, – uh, again, you never hear a college coach ever say, no, I thought our recruiting class stunk. But I, I do feel strongly about it. I do feel strongly about our ability to develop kids. And there will be first-team all-conference guys in this group. you know. And the goal is to make every one of them at least a role guy that can help us win. Congratulations on today. Thanks. That is Jerry Partridge, head football coach at Missouri Western. The Griffins signed 24 today here on National Signing Day. I'm Dave Rickert, voice of the Griffins.